So just like the three phase source, you know, three phase loads can either be arranged by this Y or delta connection. So having the voltage sources and three phase loads configured into Y or delta, so we can have four configurations. We have Y Y. Y connected sources and Y connected loads. We have Y connected sources and delta connected loads. Then we have delta connected sources and Y connected loads. Then we have delta connected sources and delta connected loads. So it's sufficient to analyze Y to Y while the others can be treated by Y to delta and delta to Y transformations. So why is that? So first, let's take a look at this balanced Y2Y system. So we have uh, this one essential node, and then we have the reference node. Let's label this essential node as node capital N. And the reference node, we will have this the ground. Or... Uh, lowercase n. So applying KCL at node n or the essential node, we have VNN over Z0 plus VNN minus VAN all over so we have for line a we have z a plus z1 a plus z g a plus v n n minus so this is for line b v b n all over a B plus J one B plus C G B and lastly for line C we have V N N minus V C N over Z C plus Z one C plus Z G B plus two zero. In order to have a balanced Y to Y system, so the voltage source must be balanced and the loads must be balanced. But to have a balanced source, so let's assume positive sequence. To have a balanced source, VAN equivalent to VP equal zero and VBN equivalent to PP angle D120 and PCN equivalent to PP angle 120. Now, in order to have a balanced uh, load, ZA must be equivalent to ZB equivalent to DC. So let's label this as TL. In order for this to become a balanced system, ZG, ZG1, ZG1 be equal to ZG2 plus to ZG3 plus to. So let's label this as ZG. Impedance of the line must be must also be equal. So we have Z1A plus to C one B equals to C one C. Let's label this as Z one Z L plus Z G plus Z one equivalent to so let's label this combination of dependencies as Z equivalent. So this equation 
and the top and become so this becomes Vn and over Vo plus Vnn over Dq Vnn minus Vp angle zero over Dq plus Vnn minus Vp angle eighty one twenty all over Zq plus Vnn minus Vp angle positive one twenty. 120 all over dq or this is equivalent to 0 so that's equivalent to 0 so we combine uh, like terms so we have pnn 1 over zo plus 1 over plus 3 over Zeq uh, minus 1 over Zeq times Vp angle 0 plus Vp angle negative 120 plus Vp angle 120 equal to 0. If you add this equation right here, you add the three balance sources, so this is VAN, VBN, and VCN, this is equivalent to 0. So we are left with VNN times quantity 1 over 0 minus plus 3 TEQ equals to 0. Now solving for VNN. Vnn is equivalent to 0. So what does this signify? What does this tell you about the balanced y to y system? If you remember, when the voltage is equal to 0, is just equivalent to a short circuit. If VNN is equal to zero, this line right here, this is just like connecting a wire to the neutral lines. Now looking at, at a four wire Y to Y balance system, so we all know the voltage VNN is just equivalent to zero. So it's just like connecting a wire between the neutral lines. So having four wires, we can apply to solve for the uh, line currents IAA, IBB, ICC. All we need to do is to apply AVL at each phase. So for example, we apply KVL here to this loop. We can solve for IAA. So we have negative. Label this, this as VN, VAN, VBN, VCN. So applying KVL at this loop, we have VAN minus VAN plus. I A A times D A equivalent to zero. So we can now if V A N is given and V Z A is given, we can solve for I A A. So same with I I B B can perform KVL at this loop right here. 
So, negative CBN plus IBB times CB to 0. And for VCN and ICC, so we can perform a KVL right here. We have V, CN, minus ICC, CC plus 2, 0. So it's easy for us to solve the line currents when there is a metal wire. So what if we take a look at this case right here? So if there are no neutral uh, wires, so same what we did in the previous slide. So let's apply ECL at node n, having node uh, lowercase n as our reference node. So KCL at node n. So we have, so if this uh, system is balanced, so ZA plus ZB is equivalent to DC. So let's label this as C. So combining like terms, we have P, VNN over Z minus One over Z quantity V A N plus V B N plus C N equal to zero. So we all know if we add the balance three phase uh phase voltages, this is just equivalent to equivalent to zero. So if that is equivalent to zero, VNN is just equivalent to zero. Even though there is no uh, line between the neutral uh, nodes, when you have VNN equals to zero, it is just like having a, a wire connected directly two nodes and n so having this imaginary uh, shorted wire a shorted line connected to the neutral lines a uh, neutral nodes we can perform a per phase analysis so we can apply kvl now right here kvl right here and kvl right here so that is the advantage of having a Y to Y balance system. So that is why we all need to uh, focus on the Y to Y system. All the other systems can be converted into Y to Y system.